Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I am going to demonstrate how IBM WebSphere application server Docker image can be built and the application server running inside the Docker container can be accessed through the admin console. Let us start the demo by reviewing the Docker file. So this is the Docker file which we, based on which we are going to build the image. So we are going to use Ubuntu 14.04 as the base image. Then we are going to install the unzip and the wget which is needed by the needed for installation. And the first thing is we are going to install the installation manager as that is needed for installing the WebSphere application server. Once the installation manager installation is successful, we would be installing the WebSphere application server version 8.5.5. Once the version 8.5.5 installation is successful, we are going to apply the fixpack 5 over that. After the installation of fixpack is also successful, we are going to create an app server profile. So these are the ports which are going to get exposed on the container. Now let us build the image docker build minus t and base dot. Base is the name of the image and dot indicates the, the current folder where we have the docker file. Build process is happening. It is installing wget. Now it has started the installation of the installation manager. Installation manager installation is in progress. IBM installation manager has been successfully installed under slash opt slash IBM slash installation manager slash eclipse directory. Now the installation of IBM WebSphere application server version 8.5.5 has been started and it's in progress. IBM WebSphere application server version 8.5.5 has been successfully installed under slash opt slash ibm slash websphere slash app server directory. Application of fixpack 5 over that is in progress. Fixpack 5 has been successfully applied over version 8.5.5. Creation of application server profile has been started. Application server profile has been successfully created. Now, the ports which are required to access the application server are getting exposed. The image has been built successfully. To review the image information, use the docker images command. Here, we have used wget to retrieve the in binaries from a different location and then build the docker image. So, the image size is 4.19 GB. Let us start a container using the image we built. Docker run is a command to start the container to which we have passed various parameters. Name is a parameter to specify the name for the container. Minus D indicates the Docker is running in the detached or background mode. And minus P and the various port association indicates the associations with the host port number and the container port numbers. Minus V option indicates a volume in the host machine is mounted to a volume on the container. Minus T base indicates the image name and slash bin slash bash is the command. Now a container has been successfully created and the ID of the container is displayed. Let us start the application server on the container. Docker exec and the container name and the command to start the application server on the container. Application server has been successfully started. To review all the containers which is available in that host machine, give docker ps-a command. It displays all the containers running in that machine. Server is the name of the container and you could see the port associations. So let us log in to the admin console to access the application server. So here we are accessing the admin console using the host machine IP address and the port number. Click login to login to the admin console. We could see application server 8555 has been successfully installed.